Hello guys, this is Smiley again from Juicy Tech and today I will be taking you through how to import data from World Feature Service, WFS. So, do you know what World Feature Service is and do you know how you can bring in data into your KJS environment? You just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video and you're going to know how to do that. So <clears throat> guys, here yeah, we're working in KGS um, interface. So I actually want to bring in a data from the word, um, like I said, during my intro, uh, word feature service. And don't forget um, it, uh, the word feature service, uh, by definition, is, um, is a platform by, by the Open Geospatial Consultant, OTC, for, for um, for um, for bringing in data, vector data, you can be vector data or raster data from the web to your desktop GIS. So here yeah, we are using what QGIS. So you can actually assess the data online, and if you feel it's something you want to work with, you want to do some further analysis on, you can using the um, the WFS um, feature, you can bring in that data into your QGIS and. Um, work on it so if you go to your browser panel so you have switched to my browser panel okay let's add the let's add the satellite image let me add google satellite so if i go to my yeah okay this is it so i want to bring in a data using the wfs option so guys if you look here you have the so many you are like I told you earlier from one of our um, video, your browser panel just able to access different data from different sources. So here yeah, we are concerned with the WFS and as you see the OTC API. So the OTC stands for Open the Special Consortium. So for you to add any data, you have to access that data or add that data into your PDS using a URL from the source locator URL. So you need to right click new connection. So in this window here, you can see you need to specify the name of the data you're bringing in and the link, the URL link. Then you click on OK. So that will bring your data. So now you need to go to your website online. So go to your your source where you have your data. So here. I have opened on my um, Chrome browser the geoportal for the Hawaii Islands. So here yeah, uh, I want to bring in um, a data through the I see picture layer with the, the WFS um, functionality. So you have your water quality monitoring site. Uh, so you have different data. Okay, this is the census county boundary. Okay, so now let's assume volunteer fire stations. Okay, let's assume I want to bring this uh, data. So if you look at the metadata, it says locations of volunteer fire station on the island of Hawaii as of August 2017. So let's assume I want to bring in this data to our QGIS um, interface. So I could just double click and open this while we right click and open this in a, a new um, tab. So my internet so it should open here so like i mentioned what you tell me to do when you go to your pgis you just right click and using the url to bring the data so let me check if our data has been loaded but it has not okay so it is drawing on the map so you can see here the volunteer fire station so we want to have a, a map preview of um, the area of interest yeah so here yeah, i'll click on view full details of the data so when i click on view full details it's supposed to okay, okay. so here yeah, you can see the metadata of our um, fire stations so what we want to do, you can scroll down, then use the view API resources. So you can click here, the down arrow. Now this is what I'm interested in. Open the special consortium web um, feature service. 
so you can see you have the data the area of uh, other data source so we are interested in WFS so I'm going to click on copy link so this is the link that we are actually interested in to bring in this um, fire stations on the Hawaii island so I'll go back to my PGS interface I'll click on the WFS open there new connection ok let me just say fire station ok let me say Hawaii Hawaii fire station then I will I click here and paste the URL. I'll just click on OK. So if you click the down arrow, so you can see you have the Hawaii Fire Station. Let me take this. Okay, let me just leave it. So you see the Hawaii Fire Station. So if you click the down arrow, it's going to give you other information about the um, fire station. So from there, you can just drag and drop to your um, PGS map interface to bring your data as a layer so you as a vector layer in your PGS so basically that's how you bring in your data from uh, open to special con consortium using the WFS and option so you can see here so you have the fire response zones you have the fire stations in different county you can see different county so let's assume I'm interested in um, or should I state why? No. Okay, let's use the fire stations in Hawaii Island so I can drag and drop. You can see? So let me leave it. So when you come to your layer, you switch to your layer panel here. So my PGIS is not responding. Okay. So you can see now you have your fire stations as point shape file or vector data on your layer panel. So for you to view this on your world map on Google Satellite, you can just zoom to layer because it's a word image is going to take time to load up depending on your system specification or your processing power. So it's, it's going to it should take you to that particular um, area of interest specifying or showing the different um, fire stations you have in the Hawaii island. So basically guys, that's how you add um, data from the web using the um, web feature service, which is like I said, it's uh, you can get that through the open the special um, consortium um, platform, the API. So, guys, this is our area of interest here. So, you can see. So, if you explore this data on our triple table, let's see, let's quickly explore data, let's see what it contains. Okay, I'm still waiting for my KGIs to, to draw to bring in my attributes table. So, but guys, before um, we have our attribute, table. okay, it's here already. Okay, okay, so you can see you have the district, then you have the name of which uh, fire station, then the address. So you can just go further and say that you want to see um, the names, you want to label them. So it's name, yes, name. So tests, you can bold it if you want, you can change the color if you want. You can put a buffer. Let me release this. Apply. Let me change well, let me change the test size to probably five. Okay, I'll change this before. So here you have, uh, let me use the multiplier. So you have the different, um, different um, fire stations. So it's they are the labels. So basically, guys, that's how you can see. So that's how you um, bring in your your data through the view FSM option, what feature service. So we should try and bring in the data using the world map service for VMS. So you check our check out of our YouTube channel. We should do that in one of our videos in our next video. See you later guys. 
So thank you guys for staying to the end of this video. I bet you learned one or two things from the lesson. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, put on the notification button, and watch out for more educative videos. See you guys next time.